Sit. Sit! I let him get as far as he could on his confidence and I stopped him and pushed him back and he's done it. Heel. Right, everyone. So, welcome to Charlie's Vlog episode number 11. And in this week's episode, you're going to see me doing a little bit more hunting. And this time we're hunting to find a retrieve, which we're going to make the dog spit out. Off the spit, I'm then going to give the dog a marked retrieve. The dog isn't encouraged to look at me via throwing just retrieves, which is what a lot of people do. The dog only gets a retrieve once it's used its nose to find a retrieve. It then simulates spitting that out, which would be the flush, and then the marked retrieve after that. I then send the dog. I don't make the dog spit the retrieve out every time because otherwise they can start to point them and not pick them up, which I still want the dog to be able to do. I'm also going to be doing uh, some marked retrieves in my field down here. At, at the moment, I haven't done much retrieving where I'm really sending the retrieve a long way. I'm starting to get him to tune in on judging distances and how far to keep running. Anyway, hope you enjoy this episode. All right, everyone. So I'm going to do a little bit of hunting today. We've got a rabbit skin ball here which I'm going to hunt him to pick. I'm going to ask him to spit it out. And when he spits it out, I'm then going to throw him a very clear, visible, high-vis white mark retrieve. So he's, got a, he's not getting a retrieve unless he's used his nose to find this, okay? That's really, really key with this. So first of all, I'm just going to sit. I'm just going to put it on the floor, give it a bit of a kick round. Charlie, sit. Always lies down at the start. That's what he does. Okay. So you're going to throw this down. Sit. Good lad. Sit. Sit. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Sit. Hold. Good boy. Good boy. Dead. Now I did that really close there so we could see that on camera because normally I would throw it a bit further, but then you probably wouldn't see the retrieve. This isn't about picking the retrieve so much. It's about hunting, finding a retrieve, then having to spit the retrieve out, having a mark, and then me sending it for him. And I won't make him spit this out every time, otherwise he'll stop trying to pick it, and I don't want that either. So, Charlie? Good. Right everyone, so throughout this video I've tried to do lots of little paws and slow-mo so you can see me putting the retrieve down. It's really important that the dog never catches you throwing that retrieve out or putting it down in front of him because if he does or she does, they will start dancing around looking at you expecting you to put the retrieve down. You have to be super sly, quick, otherwise you'll provoke all the incorrect responses you want from your dog. I don't know if you saw me throw that down then. Good lad, good lad. Good boy, good boy, hold. Sit, sit. Good boy, good boy. So, I'm gonna hunt on past you and then turn the camera around. Good lad. It's October and it's still 20 degrees. Hey, he's... Good boy. So I'm gonna turn the camera around now, sit. So hopefully, Charlie, sit. You're gonna see us hunt on that way a little bit. Heel. So I'm gonna carry on hunting away now. Sit. Sit, Charlie. Good lad, good lad. Good lad, good lad, good lad. Sit. Right. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Hold. Hold. Good lad. Good lad. So, these are my high vis water dummies that I use not just for water work, but also I like them for this because 
I don't really want to get caught up with handling in this manoeuvre. It really is about the dog hunting well, finding a retrieve, getting a mark and picking it. And I don't really want it to be any more complicated than that. Now he spat, picked up and spat the retrieve down, which is somewhere here. I'll find it in a second. It's over there. I'm going to pick that up and then I'm going to recast them off. I'm going to carry on hunting that way a little bit. Charlie, sit. So we're going to go again, change position. You'll notice he's always pa already panting. I've probably only done two or three minutes worth of hunting. But it's beginning of October now. He's not quite six months, but he overheats really, really quickly. Once the temperature drops below 10 degrees, I think he's going to be flying a lot more, which is what I want. Um, hard training a, a dog that has to move quickly. Also, he's very puppy fat at the moment. So once he muscles up um, in 10, 12 months, he'll be a different dog. Right, ready? So you touch the scent then. Right! Good boy. Very clear verbal when I send him. It can't be mixed up for anything else. Good boy. Sit. Good boy. Good boy. Well done. Dead. Sit. I'm going to pick the ball up. Charlie, stop throwing yourself on the floor. Sit. Sit. Trying to get in the right side of the wind. He touched it then. So what I wanted to do was practice there, him stopping right on top of the retrieve, which he did. It's actually in his mouth, and when he heard the stop whistle, he spat it out, which is what I want. Good boy. Good boy. Sit. Well done. Sit. I'm going to pick the retrieve up, and I'm going to move the camera once again. Sit. Now, I've moved positions again. Normally, when I'm training without the camera, I'm just flowing and flowing and flowing, no stopping, no stagnation. I don't give him a chance to think about things too much. But when I'm filming, it does, it never goes as well. Um, anyone that works with me, any of my online clients will tell you, they'll say, oh, it went really, really well. I forgot to press play. And then when they press play, it doesn't go, <laughs> doesn't go as well. It, it, it's how it is, you know, it's one of those things. Right, I'm gonna have got another rabbit ball. I've actually already put one down here in this stick pile when he didn't see. Um, but I want him to pick that one without me spitting it because the last couple I've made him spit on. So, you ready? Good luck. Good luck. Good luck. Good luck. Good luck. Good luck. Where's he gone? Where's he gone? Good luck. Good luck. Good luck. Good luck. Good luck. Where's he? Where's he? Where's he? I can't even remember where it is now. Good luck. Where's he? Where's he? Where's he? Good luck. Good lad. Good boy. Good boy. Well done. Sit. Hold. Good boy, well done. I'm not going to let him see me put this one out this time and roll that out. I like it when it rolls on the ground because it covers a bit of scent, you see. I didn't say go, did I? Go on. Good lad. Good lad. Good lad. Good lad. Good lad. Sit. Sit. Right! Good boy, well done. I'm sure that these white dummies as well make it much easier for you guys to see. Good boy, well done. Good boy. Now, I'm actually going to give him a white retrieve back this way. That's going to be a memory. Sit. We're going to hunt on. I'm going to make him spit this, mark a retrieve that way, and then try and send him back for that one. Ready? Good luck. Good luck. Good luck. Good luck. Where's he? Where's he? Leave that. Shit. Right! Good boy. Good boy. Hold, hold, hold. Good boy. For a moment he thought about not picking that one, but he did go straight in the end, which is good. 
So I'm just going to pick this one up here, sit, sit, and I'm just going to do a heel. I'm actually going to walk him back here, Charlie, Charlie, and I'm going to send him from over here. Here, sit, sit. Read that. Now, I don't know if you saw that he was a bit reluctant to come towards me. If it had come very freely, then I would have stopped him and then sent him back. But because he was like, oh no, but I know you're going to send me back, I decided to call him all the way and to just make a point that ultimately I'm always in control. So I'm going to do it as a straight send. Heel, heel. Charlie. Not going to do anything this time, just call him back. Good boy. Well done. Good boy. Hold, hold. Good boy. Good lad. Dead. Good boy. Right, I'm a bit disappointed in how well he's hunted. He normally hunts harder than this, but it's like three o'clock in the afternoon. It's just rained, it's super humid, it's warm, I'm warm. So I'm not surprised he's flagging. Um, so I'm literally gonna do no more than that. But it's similar to the sessions I've done before, but I'm just trying to show you the sort of thing that I am regularly doing. Now, because he has to find, let me come a bit closer to the camera, Charlie. Now, one of the things I'm often saying, Charlie, heel, sit. If you constantly hunted your dog and just stopped it and threw dummies, you'd find that the dog would probably just start looking at you all the time rather than getting on and hunting. But because he's only getting a marked retrieve off the of finding one and picking the retrieve, it means that it doesn't make him look at me all the time because he never gets a retrieve unless he's hunted for a retrieve first. That's one of the unique things about being able to teach a dog to spit. The only thing is at novice level, I don't like to teach spit training because it's so easy to get wrong and so hard to get right that although I love the benefits for myself, for clients, I feel it throws up slightly more issues than it fixes. Anyway, I hope that sort of explains things. Come on, Charlie, off you go. That's it. Right, guys, so I'm gonna do something a bit different here. We're gonna be doing some mark retrieves out into this uh, second seed of cover crop that you see it starting to see come out. Now, basically, I'm gonna be throwing these retrieves relatively far, as far as I can, and just sending the dog almost relatively straight away. I'm just trying to get him to mark a little bit better and then hunt the air out. Now I'm going to use a high vis one to start with and then depending on how this goes I might swap it for a rabbit one which would be a lot harder for him to pick. So we're going to start here, here we go. Wait. Now I'm sending him straight away at the moment so he gets a very clear mark. Now this does wear them out quite quickly so you can't do loads especially when it's still so warm. Good boy, heel. So heel, heel, heel. Good boy, sit. Now this time I'm gonna wait a little bit longer before I send him. Wait. He's marking them pretty well, I'm pretty pleased so far. But obviously they really stand out. So if he gets three quarters of the way and he sees it, he's gonna pick it. Good boy, hold. Good boy. Good boy. Dead. Heel, 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 sit. See, it's already making him hot. He's only done two retrieves. So I'm going to do one more with this and I'm going to wait until it hits the ground before I send him. Charlie. Straight, straight. This is about him measuring his distance. Oh, he's marking well. It's good. I'm pleased. I haven't really done any of this yet, believe it or not. Good boy. Hold. The other thing you might have noticed me working on now is my delivery. Good boy, well done. One more with the white, I think. Heel, heel, heel. Johnny, sit. I'm just gonna make him wait a little bit longer this time. Right, here we go. Sit. Straight. Good boy. Sit. Sit. Charlie. Right. Sit. Right. Now I'd pre-planted a retrieve out there, which is why he ran out with a bit of hesitance. But I let him get as far as he could on his confidence, and I stopped him and pushed him back, and he's done it. 
So, believe it or not, this is the first time this dog has actually done a proper blind retrieve out into a very open field where so many things can go wrong. He got most of the way out, which I was pleased. I was able then to stop him, let him take stock of what was going on, push him back, of which he went straight back, hunted out the area on the hunt whistle and then picked the retrieve over the moon. So I've never done that with him before. I've done it in lots of other situations, but just not like that. Anyway, it started raining, so time to finish. Yeah. Right, well, I really hope you enjoyed that episode this week. So there was a nice bit of retrieving going on there, some mark retrieves, and then that's also working on some mark retrieves in the field. I am going to start to extend those out the, over the weeks to come. I don't want to send the dog any further, though, at this stage than I'm able to control that, and that is really, really important. A lot of people do a lot of retrieving out there and then realise they don't really have any control, and then they try and suck the dog back in, whereas I'm working from me outwards. Anyway, don't forget to subscribe and like, as I've said previously, it really does help me. Press that like button and I will see you very soon.